Do you feel that your life is characterized by laziness or too much sleep, too much socializing, moving from one room to the other room in your house, looking for someone to talk to, looking for something to do, looking for something on social media to consume, and you're not really achieving what you feel you could be achieving as a Muslim. You're not a person of growth. I share with you five very simple principles. Take note of these five headings, and then when you're finished, put them in a place in your life when you can see them. And I promise you, you will begin to see changes in your life and you will see results. Principle number one, put an end to excuses. No more justifications. People are very creative when it comes to giving themselves excuses to wiggle out of difficult situations and to prove to people why they were inactive and why they haven't sacrificed, why they haven't attended, why they haven't learned, why they haven't planned. Very creative. But you know, we have a saying in the English language. They call it uh, an idiom. Can't have your cake and eat it. And you can't have the penny and the bun. Meaning it's one or the other. You can't have both. And similarly, I say to you, my dear brother, my dear sister, it is impossible for you to lead a successful and empowered and an accomplished life if you are giving yourself excuses. It can't happen. Put an end to excuses. No more blaming your circumstance. No more blaming the inactive masjid. No more blaming the streets. No more blaming social media. No more blaming your family. Put an end to excuses. This is rule number one.